YouTube, Magna Kipper here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke Co-op with newly named Being of Knowledge. Hello. It's Did been you... a long time. Yes, it has. It's been two weeks, but uh, we're bringing back the series because we took a while, and I am recording through a new headset that has a mic, so I'm hoping I'll get better audio. So let's dive right into the episode with a trainer challenge wheel. Last episode, we did complete our challenge, and we did get a reward. Ch oh, no, we got the worst challenge. Choose three teams. Well, we've got a ton of power in the PC, well, so... Well, true, but they're all level six. Anyway, oh. so that'll be, our, <laughs> that'll be our challenge, and now let's get into the episode. Here we are in the Goldenrod Pokemon Center, recapping the teams. Wait, hang on a second. All right. Uh, she didn't just in the PC. Okay. Anyway, let's just recap the teams right now. So first up, oh come on. First up, we have two Saurus, our Tropius. Sassy Nature, Chlorophyll, Miracle Seed, Frenzy Plant, Aromatherapy, Growth, and Sky Tap. Next up, we have Juan, our Prim Plump, level 19, Relaxed Nature, Torrent, and No Item, with Metal Claw, Ember, Bubble Beam, and Safeguard. Next up, Pop Tart, or Gabite, level 21, Jolly Nature, Sand Availability, Holding the Life Orb, with Tackle, Sand Tomb, Dragon Rage, and Sand Storm. Next up, Bonch, our Houndoom, level 21, with Rash Nature, Early Bird, No Item, Bite, Ember, Hell, and Extra Sensory. Next up, Bacon, our Hero, level 19, Naughty, Ability Keen Eye, with Aerial Ace, Pursuit, Meteor Mash, and Cut. Next up, we have Darcy, our Shedinja, level 11, Gentle, with the Wonder Guard ability, Scratch, Harden, Leech Life, and Sand Attack. Terrific moveset right there. Yeah. Anyway. So which Pokemon are we gonna take off the team? Take off the team today. Probably Bacon. I don't know. Rob I like Bacon on the team. I'm thinking we give like the bat. Oh, we give the like the veterans of the team a little rest. Okay. You consider Volcanion to be one of the veterans? Pokemon. Oh. If you guys don't know, Volcanion is our print club. Uh, go watch episode 5. Okay, so who are we putting on the team? Well, we don't have any psychic types that are trained up, so I say Mr. Mime, even though Fart. it really freaks me out. Uh, let's not put Mr. Mime on. What? Okay, well. I'm thinking Alma I'm thinking we put on Almaz. Okay. Yeah, that, that's probably a good idea. I'm thinking we put on Grovile. Yep, since we took off. And I'm thinking we put on Snorlax. That would be a good move. Or Rhyperior. Snorlax. Well, yeah, we've been getting tons of requests to put Trunks on the team. So there we go, the new and improved team for this episode. And now, we can actually start the episode. And what's good is that today, we can get two extra encounters. On routes of our choice. Yeah. So, do you want to do that now? Well, first we should probably go look and see what routes have good Pokemon. Well, the first route had some good Pokemon. This rat had some pretty good Pokemon. Maybe we should try and go back and catch that Infernape. But that'll be walking all the way back to... The, what's his face? New Bark Town. We could do that off camera, and then... But it will be for an Infernape. Um, I don't know. We have a really good fire type. I'm thinking we just get them in Ilex Forest, and then in, like... Slowpoke well. Hey. So who do we put up front? So 
I'm gonna put Slash up front. Yeah, I say Slash. Okay, so let's run around. Get this encounter. Come on. There, Pokemon. What is this? Slash just falls around. What are you doing? Why are we running oh, around? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. This is bad. Well, Counter is fighting type and Miracle is psychic type, so theoretically you can send in Darcy. Okay. Wait, it has Shadow Tag. Oh, right, Shadow Tag. Can we run? No, Shadow Tag prevents that. So what do we do? Do we leave? Uh, gear it to death? Don't do that. Oh, jeez, I hate Destiny Bond so much. I was like, the only time. I think the only way we're gonna escape without casualties is if we catch this thing. Oh, jeez. Okay, keep leer. Yeah. I forget what safeguard does. Does it prevent it? Prevent. Yeah, caught it, caught it, caught it. We're safe. Yes! <sighs> That is a relief. So what do you name this thing? Well, Art oh. 2.0. Oh. There, fart 2.0. Fart 2.0. Oh. Very eloquent name. I know, right? Yes. Extremely. Oh yeah, so I wanted to talk to you about this for a while. Your opinions on the new Lycanroc form? I like it probably more than midday form, but not as much as midnight. Oh, I hate midnight. I think midnight's... I really like midnight. And... Midnight's just like an evil werewolf. That's what I like about it! Zor well, Zoroark pulled off the werewolf thing. They both did. Yeah, Zoroark doesn't have like that manic look to it. It has a clever look, but not like manic. Uh, neither does Lycanroc Midnight. Lycanroc Midnight has an emo look to it. It has glowing red eyes. So does Zoroark. It has glowing blue eyes and a weird. Zoroark doesn't have glowing. Okay. Well, glowing red eyes seems a little more menacing than glowing blue anyway, eyes. Anyway, uh, mid, mid, midday form is better in battle, too. Yeah, I can't argue that. Yeah. I still think the design is better for... Yeah. It's probably... Like, people hate on uh, Dusk Black and Rock, but if you really think about its design, Dusk can be said for both... Um, for both day and night. So Lycanroc should be- So that's Lycanroc should be a fusion of the midday and midnight Lycanrocs. Yeah. So, I think the design's good. Oh yeah, do we still have a rep- Do we still have that repel? No, yeah. we use it in here. Oh, we do? I did not think that was a repel. I'm gonna- I'm gonna try? To get down to that bottom spot, because there's Groudons in there. Oh, well, that would know. be. There are Groudon in there. Yeah, right down here. And we got That's... it. We got it. We got it. We found a Groudon. I, I serious. I... Okay, well, there's some serious lag between the audio and the. Video for me, so I I, I just now am seeing the crowd on. Oh my god, did we catch this thing? Just take take a screenshot for the thumbnail right now. All right. Okay, there we go. Take a screenshot. Let's keep attacking it. If we get this thing, that would be so oh, crazy. Okay. Oh. Yep. I would say start. Throwing pokeballs at it right does now. Have, oh wait, does Dalmas have Thunder Wave by any chance? Uh, I hope so. I don't think so. Okay. I'm gonna waste all my pokeballs before I start throwing my 
I don't think we have any great balls. I just bought five. Oh, oh, oh. never mind then. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, <laughs> we're not gonna catch ground on. Listen to this music, by the way. I, I hear no music. Oh, right. Well, I'm talking to the viewers then. Okay, viewers. It's great music. Yeah, it's According to Magnet. Come on, please, Gradon. I need you in this team. We need you to get in this small metal sphere. Yes, giant behemoth thing. Get in the sphere. That almost destroyed the region. Get in the small metal metal sphere. Yes, God of Earth, get in the sphere. Do you like blue? <laughs> yes. <gasps> Do you like blue? Oh, who am I kidding? We're never gonna catch this thing. There is no way we're gonna catch this thing. This is like trying to catch an infernate with a level five. Yeah, boy, this is. Impossible. Well, just savor the moment. It's the last great ball. Mm -hmm. The second legendary that we failed to catch. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's really sad. Well, that's kind of bittersweet. Mm -hmm. And I just wasted all of our money, so we'll have no money, and we can't go buy Pokeballs and get into, like, the tower. Wait, is this seriously randomized to be a duty? <laughs> well, that's sad. It's gonna make a good thumbnail, though. Yeah, what's the thumbnail gonna be? I'm guessing the Groudon. No, like, what am I gonna make it a meme of? Oh, you have to translate it to a meme? Well, you saw what I did with the Rotom and Trapping. Yeah. I thought this just wouldn't have been bad. That was, that's fine. Except I guess. Except you killed Slash. Yeah. Togekiss gets Sky Attack and Aura Sphere at level 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe if we got it, that would... Yeah, never mind. There, yeah, that, that just would have meant death. We really need some sort of Pokemon. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have used Dragon Ring. But Pop Tart's not on the team because we chose to replace her. You chose to replace her! Um. You paid a part in that decision. I you could have no, I, I just said nothing! <laughs> you could have spoken up. Really? Let's go to the national park and fight trainers. We are gonna need some more money. <laughs> yeah, because we can get another encounter in Ecotic City. Yeah. Wouldn't you mind in getting that instead of the freaking Wobbuffet? Yeah. That is unfortunate. I might make it into like a the Matrix meme or something with Groudon dodge like with Groudon dodging Pokeballs. <laughs> that would be interesting. Well, I'll think of something. Question of the day, by the way. What's your favorite pseudo-legendary? Not legendary, but pseudo-legendary. Hmm. That's pretty hard for me. Mine is probably... either Metagross... I don't know if I would call Metagross pseudo-legendary. Or Metagross, isn't it Metagross? Well, if you want to pronounce it like meta disgusting, then it's metagross. If you want to pronounce it meta, if you want to pronounce it a cool pronunciation, then it's metagross. And it, it is a pseudo legendary. Look it up. Okay. I I I, I didn't mean actually. <laughs> anyway, there's still some trainers in the national park that we haven't battled, so we can get some money off of those. I don't know what's happening to the music in this emulator. It keeps on glitching. Huh, oh, cool. 
It is a pseudo legendary. Yeah. I'm gonna look up other pseudo legendaries because I don't really remember many. Uh, pretty much all of the regional dragons are pseudo legendaries no. except for Drodagon, Drampa, and Terminator. Hmm. Terminator is just an unfortunate name. Oh, I like Salamence. Salamence, I definitely I like. Um, um, mine's either Metagross or Garchomp, but I feel like Garchomp's too cliche, so I'll go with Metagross. I like Como O from the. From Sun and Moon, yeah. Yeah, which is good my too. My Pokemon is simply darling. Let me tell you how proud my darling makes me. Now let me tell you how strong my Grovile is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, so we're playing this game, Hush Shield on. <laughs> Go, squirrel. Hit the turtle with electricity. I really like, I think that Gudra doesn't get enough credit. I like Gumi and Sligoo. Like, the fact that they're dragons... I... Get it. Sort of. Uh, what I think should be changed is that Gumi and Sligoo should become pure water type and Gujo should be water dragon. I don't think they should be water type, though. But I don't think they should be water type. It makes sense, they're slugs. Ye yeah, but... They're not supposed to be... Slugs necessarily. They are literally slugs. Yeah, they're slug is a snail. Well, what is I up with the fits? A, a shield bond and a crazy dose in the, the, two consecutive battles. Well, that's a little. That's strange. I don't think. I think that if Sligu and Gumi weren't gen types, that would that it wouldn't be as I prefer both the, both of them being dragon types rather than gaining the dragon type because every single pseudo legendary excluding Metagross that oh, this thing put us to sleep. oh that's bad um Bonch has early bird so. But this is Slash's episode to shine. Oh, okay. <laughs> so anyway, the only wait. All oh, right, Terran is not a dragon type either. Okay, never mind. Wait, what? Tyran Tyranitar isn't a dragon type, but Gumi is. Just another example of Pokemon's experience at typing. We were just speeding through this battle. <laughs> Do we have any poison cure berries? Poison cure berries. Well, Thanks. don't have any in there. And berries? We do have Petra. Oh, okay. Oh, we have plenty of them. That's good. Yeah, we have tons of berries. You know what? I'm gonna heal Flash using Warren berries because we're never gonna use them, uh, like. We're, we're never gonna use them afterwards, so might as well heal up Flash with them. Yeah, there's tons of trainers in here. By the time we get back to Ecritique, we'll have plenty more Pokemon. I mean, plenty more Poké Dollars. Yeah, plenty yeah, more. Uh, we're at 19 minutes. So, I think we'll hit 22 and call it a day. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Whoa! Whoa! Um... Who do we even go up to for this thing? Does Darcy... No, rock type move. Launch? No... Uh... Wait, look up what moves Agron has at level 14. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Agron, learn set by leveling up in generation three? No, this is gen four. This is gen four. So gen four. Just uh look up level fourteen and then okay. it'll be the fourth. 14, it knows headbutt, mud slap, harden, head. Headbutt, mud slap, harden, and tackle. Okay, so we can safely go into Darcy without it hurting us. Yeah. Although then we won't be able to hit it for anything much because Darcy because, will. Yeah. Well, we could sand attack it a bunch and then send out Bonch. Okay. Oh, he thing switched. Oh, uh, we don't take super effective damage no! from- Oh my god! That, that was, was brutal! Actual... <laughs> watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! That's gonna be the, that's gonna be the thumbnail for this episode. That... Oh my god, hang on a second. Ah, uh, that was terrible! <sighs> oh, jeez. I'm pretty sure every single Shedinja that's ever been lost in a Nuzlocke was a victim of pursuit trapping. <laughs> Seems like it. Ah, oh, back to Agron. Okay, I think it knows Mudshot. No, no, no. Okay. Odor Sleuth. I feel like Odor Sleuth is awful. Uh, well, on Houndoom it is, because Houndoom gets bite. Yeah. Like, I never teach Odor Sleuth any Pokemon. Ever. I, I feel like. I do it sometimes. Okay, this is... No ball playing aside from Pokeballs. Okay, well... We're almost at 25 minutes. Oh. Okay then, so let's get this TM that's down here then. Ooh. Oh, we can leave a cliffhanger for the next episode. No. Yeah, you're right, that one might be two more weeks. Wait, that's, that's a formidable tree, not a TM. Where's the TM? There's a TM down here, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Oh, there it is. Ooh, Chatter. Chatter's actually a good move. Chatter's okay. Um, okay, let's see here. Chatter. Can... I'm thinking Bacon or Alamaz to learn. Oh, just Bacon. Okay, let's... Well, let's see here. Bacon is entirely a physical attacker. And Chatter's a special move. I think we'll just hold on ch hold on to chatter. Okay. And there we go. That's where we're gonna end off this episode for today. Sorry for a really uneventful episode. We failed to grow on, lost a Shedinja, caught a Wobbuffet, and did pretty much nothing else. And see you next time.